Hello, welcome to TypeScript Basics. In this part, we are going to look at template strings. As we have seen previously, we can create string enclosed by single quote, double quote, as well as backticks. If you create a string using backticks, then you can use it as a template string. Let's see some examples to understand what I mean. I have VS Code open here. So let's say I have a variable called sum and it's going to have a value 2. So now I want to print some message along with this value. So let's say um, I'm going to create another variable called result. It's going to have some text in it actually. So I'm going to say, um, let's say 1 plus 1 is equal to. Then if I want to print 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, then what I can do, I can say console.log uh, result plus 2. So this will print 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So if I run this, you can see it has printed 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Here we have used a plus operator to concatenate strings. But rather than using this plus operator for concatenating string, we can make this uh, text as a template and we can put the value of sum directly in the template using something called placeholders. So to make this particular string a uh, a template I need to use backticks um, instead of double quotes so if I change this to backticks then what I can do I can use dollar opening and closing braces and within this I can put the placeholder so in this case I want to print a value of the variable called sum so I can put sum here so now um, if I change this to just print result and if I run this you'll see the same value that we have seen previously as you can see here but this time we have used a string template rather than string concatenation we can also put an expression here rather than variable so let's say um, um, if I put something like 1 plus 1 then it's going to sum these two then it's going to put the result of this expression in the output so if I run this I'll see the same value because at runtime uh, TypeScript compiler JavaScript compiler is going to evaluate this expression and it's going to print the value of it so as you can see here it prints the same result again this is a string template actually this is nicer way than using plus operator for concatenating strings this becomes more readable so if I put something like uh, is the result or something like that then it's very readable um, as you can see here uh, just by looking at this we can easily understand what we are trying to do so if you run this you'll be able to see the output with the new string that i have added at the end of it so as you can see here one more advantage of using backticks to create string is you can create multi-line strings so if i break this uh, into a new line then it will still work so if we run this, the output will still show the same result, but the, the is the result will be shown in a different line, as you can see here. This is another advantage of using backticks to create strings. There is another thing called tagged function. We can use tagged function to pre-process um, these literals and templates. So if you see this uh, string template, this has uh, two things actually. So these values are called literals. So the one plus one is equal to and is the result. So these two are called literals and whatever we put inside dollar and braces are called placeholders. So I can create a function uh, which is called tagged function um, and I can I can actually pre-process these literals and placeholders in them before creating the result. So let's create a, a tagged function uh, called uh, let's say remove basically it's going to put a word called removed uh, for all the placeholders so tagged function is uh, simply a function so i'm going to create it as a function and it's going to be called remove and it's going to take um, literals as a first parameter so literals will be a special type of array and it is called template strings array and then all the placeholders will be passed as the remaining parameters and because we don't know how many of them are going to be there we can use rest parameter to collect all of them and put them into an array so i'm going to use this rest operator so i'm going to call it placeholders and it's going to be of any array because we don't know the type of it and within here what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave these literals as is but for every placeholder so i'm going to put removed rather than the actual value of the placeholder so i'm going to create a for loop 
um, let's say let i is equal to zero i less than uh, it's going to be placeholders dot length uh, i plus plus within here i'm going to create a variable called result so it's going to be empty string to start with and within here what i'm going to do is i'm going to say result is equal uh, plus is equal to this is actually shorthand operator to say result is equal to result plus and something I can actually say result plus is equal to which is a shorthand operator and here I'm going to say literal of i and then I'm going to say result plus is equal to remove so rather than uh, placing the value of placeholder here I'm going to say remove so this is going to put all the literals except the last one and it's going to put removed for all the placeholders so i'm going to append the raw, uh, last um, placeholder as well here so i'm going to say result plus is equal to it's going to be literals uh, of literals dot length minus one just to get the last one and finally i'm going to return the value of result so just to show what happens before applying this remove tag function i'm going to run this again so this is the result here so this one plus one is equal to is a literal and is the result is also a literal and two is the value of the placeholder. Now if we apply this tag function, we are expecting to see word removed instead of this two here. So let's see what happens when we apply this. So I'm going to say remove here. So if I run this again, as you can see here, it shows removed instead of word two. So this is tag function. This will be useful, let's say when we want to escape html text or something like that uh, we can create a tag function which can do all these things in the background because this is like a pre-processing for uh, template strings so that's it for now i hope this video was useful i'll see you in the next video thank you